Hey y'all, it's Bo with Bo's Bargains here coming to you guys with a um, big Dollar Tree haul today. I scored big today. Yes, I sure did. I had to run out on my lunch break um, from work from home and run some errands. So I went by the DT, picked some things up and then came on back. So I'm coming on here this evening to do a haul with you guys be sure to hit that bell button anytime I upload a video and if you want to be notified also if you want to become a part of my family um, be sure to subscribe and this is Bo's Bargains here coming to you so <clears throat> the first thing that I actually picked up I picked up for my nephew okay y'all so I picked up these Easter eggs and it says 12 pieces it's because they are the clear eggs that have these little animals that are so cute on the inside. I picked these up for my nephew. If you could see this right here, it's like a little monkey. And um, this one is a little frog. And I believe, yep, the white and black is the cow. And then the pink, there's a pig. I'm not going to open it up because I'm going to take it to my nephew next week when I'm on spring break. Um, I picked up some more of the Nine Lives Soft Treats for my kitty, the Ocean Medley Flavor. He really loves these every single day, so I picked up two of them for him. Then I actually found this, and I don't usually give my angel rawhide. I usually don't. I like the Dingo Mini Bones. Well, they had this in the DT today. I was really shocked. And they didn't expire until December, uh, Christmas of this year. So I picked up um, a seven pack of the Mini Bones, as you can see there, the Dingo Mini Bones. So it's a seven pack for a dollar. Hey, can't beat it, right? Name brand. I picked up um, one of the Home Bright uh compress excuse me a compressed gas electronics duster for my laptops um i don't think this is a dt product i think this is a name brought yeah rejoice international out of northville michigan so this is what the can looks like there you have that by home bright so I use this on my laptops. As you can see here, some of my Easter decor, I was telling you about putting my paw prints out. Be sure to stay on the lookout for my Easter decor um, short video that I'm gonna post for you guys. All items mainly from the DT, except for two small little things. So um, I usually buy this and keep this at my house with my laptop. And because I bring my laptop home from work quite a bit, um, I'm going to use this too today on it. I'm going to set that aside. <laughs> it's kind of in my way. Um, I picked up this Pro Marks Multi Purpose Spray Glue. glue. I can't even talk today. Spray glue. Great for projects. Extra strength. Acid free. Dries clear. So by Pro Marks. So it's a name brand product. They had a whole case of them. I just picked up one so I could try it out for some craft projects that I'm going to do. And then I needed some more command hooks um, for some of my Easter signs. So I picked up those for a dollar, each of those. I got those. And then I needed some more of the scunchy, um, the little uh, claw clips. They, they call them jaw clips, actually. Um, but I call them claw clips because I got the tortoiseshell pattern one. I really like that one. And then I spotted this pretty one, which I, it's like, it's a flower. If you look right there, it's shaped like a flower, guys. Look how pretty that is. It's almost like a, like a bronzy, not gold, but kind of like a tortoiseshell kind of look. But I just couldn't believe it. It was the only one I spotted. So I had to pick, yes, I had to pick it up. So I picked that one up for myself. Really liked them. So that was all that was in that bag. I picked up some other goodies. Yes. Yes, I found these two. Selfie, hashtag selfie, lip pops, lollipops. There's the puppy, the bunny, the pig, and the meow. So I'm gonna put these in the kids' um, Easter baskets this year. 
So these are distributed by Imaginings 3. It is a name brand product. Yes, they're at the DT. I picked up the mini ones too, so they're going to get some of each. Speaking of candy, I picked up some more of the Sweet Tart Rope Bites. Yes, we love them. So one for me and one for my boyfriend. Then I picked up, they had this out, the Lifesavers Hard Candy Spring Mix. They have raspberry flavors, pineapple flavors, and watermelon flavors. And I love me some the pineapple and raspberry ones. So I picked up two bags of those. That's what the packaging looks like. So I picked up two. I have a little, um, I didn't show you that in my decor video, but I have a little ceramic bowl that looks like an Easter basket and the bottom is like ceramic eggs all together. It has a little bow handle. So I'm gonna put that in my candy bowl. Um, back to um, some, uh, let's see, I would say other product, like school supplies, office supplies. I picked these up to take these to school to give a kid a lead pencil if they rather prefer to use a lead pencil. That way they can just keep it and use it. Um, it's by the ink side clicks. Um, 0.7 millimeters lead. It's four. You get red, orange, green, and blue. So I picked up, that's what it looks like. I picked up two of those. I have found that these work better than the Jot lead pencils. Um, my students have told me that. So I've picked these up to take to school. Of course, y'all know I love the ink R2 Precision tip in the 0.5 millimeters. So, I found two packs of the blue ink ones. So, blue, is that shows you blue ink. That's what they look like. There's the side. I'm not taking them out of the pack because these are, um, I already have some that are blue. I did find a pack that was black. So, I got one pack black for myself. Um, my um, best friend's mother, she uses the blue ones at work all the time. So, I actually picked these up for her. So, her birthday was last week. So, I'm just going to add it in. And then I also picked these up to, for me to take to school by the BIC, the name brand BIC, the Extra Smooth Crystal up to 35% smoother. The 10 Blue Ink. I love these pens too. They write really, really, really well. I suggest these as well. Um, picked them up in the DT. And then I found this cute little notebook by Jot. I say Jot rocks. Yes, they do. And it has the little binding elastic on it, this piece right here. And it just says notes on the front. So it's like this pink and um, teal, and it looks like a grayish color to me. And it's by Jot, because Jot rocks. Yes, they do. Um, but it says notes, if you can see that there in the glitter. Um, it's gold glitter and then those three colors. Just really, really pretty. And so I really like that just to keep this. Um, and it's lined. It's the lined paper. This just to keep in my purse um, so I can jot some notes down when I take my son um, to his doctor's appointments or my doctor's appointments. So I picked that up. So I got them. I've got some other stuff to take goodies to take to school to as well. Grab them out of here. Okay, so I love the wall borders that they had. Sometimes they come in a 12 pack and sometimes they come in a 14 pack. Well, I just love this wall border and I can't wait to find a way to use it out in the hall in our bulletin boards or just create like a fictitious like bulletin board on the wall but this is just pretty and I only found one pack of it y'all look at that look how gorgeous that is and it's 14 in a pack that is such pretty border I wish they had more y'all I just really do I would have picked up more and then our school colors are purple and gold so we use purple and yellow a lot for the gold um, and these are 12 pieces, and it's kind of like a chevron look, but there you have it, all the way down, and the edge is like pointed as well. So I got two packs of those, 12 pieces, so 24. So normally what um, my 
colleague and I do is we get border and we put something up different at different times of the year, um, whether it's back to school with school colors uh, about the teachers or whether it's inspirational quotes for the students, the scholars. Um, but hey, this is great for the spring. So we'll figure out something to do with that too. And then I picked up, I also picked up um, some of the sight words and they had all different like they had math they had reading they had um history social sciences but then they had regular science vocabulary words and i am very impressed with what they pick and the border around the words is an atom and a, a flask beaker so that's what it looks like the border there i'm not going to take them out of the plastic but it comes with 30 30 pieces okay so um it starts with attraction and ends with weight it's like procedure microscope measuring cup magnet liquid mass matter graph investigation length research results simple machine temperature capacity circuit complete i probably i actually picked up so it ends with weight and it begins with attraction. I picked up two of these. So I'm actually gonna allow my fourth and fifth grade teachers to pick through um, this and let them have these because they teach, I still teach temp, I still teach the me metric measurement system in science and investigation and pro uh, procedure processes as well as engineering practices and graphing and using calculator. But some of these words is, mainly their content I do life science I do more biology so yep I'll give that to them OMG I could not believe that I found this I'm so happy that I found this I just I just could not believe it y'all could not believe it I've seen other people haul these and yes they have these at my local DT and I'm so excited it's the expandable storage bin um, that are is 12 inches long, 9.375 inches wide, and 7.875 inches in height. And it does tell you the dimensions in centimeters. It's by the essentials, so it's a green briar product. But yes, I actually got this so I could change out um, a basket of mine that I've been using. I mean, guys, these are great. I know some people that are going to use these things for Easter baskets for their older kids. Um, of course, my kids would probably like it too because then you could reuse this storage bag for something. But for a dollar, this is pretty, it's pretty thick quality. I mean, not bad at all. That's a little see-through, but hey, they had this light gray. It's like a light gray color. And um, I'm expanding it for y'all to see. I mean, that's that's pretty big. Hey, that's that's awesome. So what I am doing with this is I'm going to take the cats and dogs toys, and they've got so many that it's overflowing in their other little mini basket, and I'm gonna put them in this one. And this will be perfect. I love the fact that it's got handles on it too. So, yeah, so I picked up two of them, and I'll find a use for the other one. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to use with. I just picked them up while I found them because you never know when they are going to run out. All right, so my favorite part of the haul. Um, yes, y'all know I love me some books. So... I hit the jackpot again today. I'm very happy. Hmm. I found the Gutsy Girl handbook again. I sure did. And it has the Target sticker. So, yes, yes, yes. I found it. And this book, I can't remember what the price was on it that it originally went for. So, my local $17. That's right. So, I picked up another one. And then today I found by Alyssa Brandon, Brandon, excuse me, Bound to You. Kind of sultry, kind of sultry, romantic, romance. She's met her mate and he's met his match. 
And oh my gosh, the inside like covering. Oh, it's gorgeous. I like, I like the cover of this. I really do. But um, this book mm -hmm. seems definitely very interesting it is definitely it says hot hotness i love megan for being a spitfire and there are no words for james and his wall everything i loved it to put it simply i was hooked one of the best werewolf stories i've read i loved it it was amazing it was totally swoon worthy i loved megan i could identify with her and james was just plain sexy i want one of him so it's a werewolf like romance novel this book went for $17.99 and oh my gosh y'all look at that look at that inside cover covering the cover like page that and it's like this on the back too Man, that is pretty. I really like that. I can't wait to read this. I'm going to put it on my shelf down here um, of some quick reads. Then I picked up this book called A Prom to Remember. It's author of A Little Something Different, which my best friend Garnet actually found that book in paperback. And she read this book and she gave me this book to read. So this is by the same author, um, Sandy Hall. This is what the cover looks like. Okay, and this book went for $17.99. So I can't wait to read this either. So yeah, so I can't wait to read both of them by Sandy Hall. Can't wait, can't wait. And then I picked up another book called Into White by Randy Pink. This is what the cover looks like. It went for $17.99. And it's it's about um, race and how um, this character lives in Montana, Alabama, and mostly attends a white school, so she's black. Um, this is actually Randy Pink's, um, audacious fiction debut. It's about race, class, and gender. I'm very interested to read this. This just seems really good. And the author also, it says that she grew up in the South, attended a mostly white high school. She lives with her husband and their two rescue dogs in Birmingham, Alabama, where she works for a branch of National Public Radio. This is her fiction debut. I have to read a debut on my this year's challenge. So, Into White, this probably will be my debut novel. So, I picked that one. As you can see, my bookshelf is over here next to me. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm putting it on there. All my DT books and other books that I have found. Yup, you got it. That's right. All right, and this is my last book and my last piece of my haul, y'all. We're almost 20 minutes in it. So this is called Finding the Blue Sky, and it's by Joseph Emmett. He is the author of Buddha's Book of Sleep and Buddha's Book of Med Meditation. But this says it's a mindful approach to choosing happiness here and now. And this is what it looks like. And this book originally went for $16. It says in this beautifully crafted book, Joseph, oops, excuse me, Joseph Emmett explores the intersection between one of the hottest fields of study in the realm of personal growth, positivity, positive psychology, and the ancient wisdom of Buddhism. Positive psychology um, with its focus on what actually makes people happy. 
So I'm interested to read this book. This also is a self-help, self-care book. And I'm actually already reading one. I'm almost done with Stop Apologizing by Rachel Hollis. It's been a wonderful book. I highly recommend it if you are looking towards reaching some goals. Um, and it's very goal-driven book. But this looks like it will be another good self-help book for me to read on my challenge this year. So I have filled my bookshelf right next to me. Um, a lot of mine I've got from the DT. Some have been given from me. But that's it, guys. That's my haul for today. Um, it's Wednesday. I hope you've had a wonderful day. I hope you are enjoying nice weather with, wherever you are. I feel like spring is on its way. Thank you for joining Bo here with Bo's Bargains today. Be sure to hit that subscribe part button if you want to become a part of Bo's Bargains family. Yes, I have on my teacher sorority shirt. Loud about ADK, which is Alpha Delta Capta. Um, it's a woman, international woman's educator uh, sorority that I'm a part of. Um, Y'all have a wonderful day. Have a great day. And just enjoy the week. And stay safe and healthy. And thanks for joining me. Bye.